Jackson Jill. What's up, guys? So this episode is going to be interesting because we have two different MMA commentators, YouTubers. Now, it's clear we live in the day and age where people insult each other. They say extreme things just to get clout and attention. It's the way it's the way people do things these days. I, I don't like it. I think it. I just don't like it. It feels desperate and kind of icky. I think we still live in a day and age where you can produce great stuff and not have to insult people, not have to chase clout, things like that. There's a YouTuber, reasonably new, and it seems to be working for him. He's going after Jesse on fire. He does put out a lot of, a lot of content, it seems, a lot of it about Jesse on fire. So I think that he's trying to siphon some of Jesse's reach and get Jesse to talk about him so he can get more subscribers on his YouTube, which I kind of, re I respect the game, man, but I'm just not sure if this technique is necessary. But if, if you're going to do it, do it right, do it well. So what we're going to do is look at this video of, let's see, what's his name? Brutally Honest. Is it Brutally Honest MMA? It just says Brutally Honest dot, dot, dot. And him and Jesse on Fire kind of going back and forth a little bit. Jesse on Fire went off saying how the dude's not worth his time, but he still brought it up and that's still a response. Um, we're going to watch the video and I'm just going to commentate on it. I actually am the reason Jesse responded to it. And you're welcome for that. Brutally honest. I went in there and did a super chat of Jesse. I have supported Jesse since the beginning. So I have nothing against Jesse. Yes, he has a huge ego. Yes, there's some narcissism mixed in there. He's funny. He's funny. He has good takes. Sometimes... He has really good takes, sometimes not so great, but that's just part of the, part of this. You know, if you do a hundred videos a month, they're not all going to be bangers. You know, sometimes there's not a lot to talk about. So you got to comb through what other people are saying and maybe give your thoughts on that. And so the whole YouTuber boxing thing has leaked into just the whole infrastructure of people that love MMA and do and our social media influencers. And we're seeing that. And you know what? I like that part because we live in a world where people get behind their computers and they talk a bunch of crap. Right. And then you're just like, do something about it. What are you going to do about it? You know, back when I was a kid, if someone got in your face and said something, and you think that they're going to smack you, you smack them. You know, I was taught to hit first. If you think you're going to get hit, there's no purpose in you getting hurt. I've trained mixed martial arts all my life. I currently train in boxing mostly right now. And I'm 45 years old. And I'll tell you what, any of these YouTubers, I would box any of them. I would box Jesse on fire. I actually wrote him one time and told him that I'd be down to do that. And he didn't write back. Um, but I want to address some of the things that these two are talking about. And just for the record, I wrote Jesse and offered to box, not as a, like an angry thing or I hate you or anything. It, it was just like a, a promotional thing. Like, you know, let's get in and box and, you know, we'll build up a promotion. If you're going to go after somebody that you respect and you're going to talk mess about them in the in the promotion you know i think that if you respect the person and you're cool with them it's okay to to discuss this with them first like i'm gonna come after you you can come after me but just know i don't you know like i don't really mean it, any of it if i hit some sore spots i'm sorry mma guru for instance his whole shtick is just trolling and 
someone brought up in a UFC discussion group on Facebook that they should put MMA guru in the commentary. No, they should not. He is very, he would be very toxic for the sport, to be honest. I mean, MMA guru is funny. That last video that he did with uh, John Jones being gay was hilarious. He's gay! And I want to do a video on that too, because I have some thoughts on that as well. But moving on, his MMA guru's whole shtick is just being a troll. You know, he's not really breaking down fights without a biased opinion, which is cool. Like, obviously, people love it. He has a, you know, huge following. There's not a lot of people that are just truly given, like, an unbiased breakdown of fights and opinions and commentary on that. I try to. I give, I give my opinion, and that's what we're all doing. Some are just campaigning based off of their own thoughts and stuff like that. And then they're also trolling and there's a lot of trolling going on to get subscribers. And I know drama is good for that. So let's, let's look into some of this drama between, let's see, brutally honest and Jesse on fire. Now there was an other guy that kind of was going after Jesse too. I don't remember his name though maybe crimson or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. Let's look at this. I'm going to give you my commentary throughout the video. If you like the content, subscribe, like, comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you guys like the trolling? When you come to an MMA YouTuber's channel, are you hoping to get some cool insight and see some cool footage? Or are you hoping for uh, trolling and drama or a little of it all? You know, I like putting sense of humor in my videos. I think I have really good content. Uh, the more people that see it, I, I get followers, but I'm not in the algorithms yet. I'm still got a little baby channel and I am very, very busy. I run events and stuff like that. And I manage fighters. I don't have a lot of time to do these, but I have been staying consistent in that I do at least two or three a week. So if you like the channel, subscribe. Give me your opinions on what you look for in a channel in the MMA space. And let's get into this video. Fucking idiot. Hey, does LeBron, does LeBron James respond to fucking, um, I don't know, pick a person who's like playing in D3 college basketball who says that he could beat LeBron James in one-on-one. -on -one. In MMA, in YouTube. Now, Jesse's going off because I super chatted him and I said, did you see that YouTuber talking about you? And he just went off. That is the equivalent of that fucking idiot talking shit to or about me. Anyway, um, he's just compared himself to LeBron fucking James. The ego and arrogance on this guy. Just for today, we've got a new intro, especially for you, Jesse. Jesse on fire, clipping like. Okay, when I saw that, I, I tried listening to it. I'm also a musician, brutally honest, and I'll be brutally honest. That track sucks. It sounds like the most cheesy thing I've ever heard in my life. Now, the words, the lyrics are pretty funny and interesting, but just it sounds like a little Casio keyboard, like cheesy, like generic Nickelodeon song. Sorry. Sorry. Just my opinion. They got a small penis. His ego's on fire. Craig. Okay. I'm going to fast forward it. Sorry. Just can't do it. I can't muscle through it. But for... All fans of cheesy, generic Nickelodeon theme songs that have lyrics about going after a YouTuber. You guys might like it. I, I can't give a fuck if a dude thinks I'm ugly. I, we miss where Jesse yeah, tells He gets it. quite personal, in fact, Jesse does. He's rattled. For someone who doesn't give a flying fuck, and he said he wouldn't respond, he does respond behind a paywall, and he, he seems quite rattled. So that could be your message to any little cockbags who want to talk shit, okay? <laughs> I have 100 times your subs. Your dick is non-existent. My dick. I mean, I don't I don't know what kind of flex that is. I have more subs than you. Well, you've been going longer than me. So yeah, you should have more subs than me, man. I mean, it really is a good response, though. The thing about it is whether you like Jesse or not, he is a very intelligent guy. And he does understand strategy. So brutally honest going after him he knows that this is a small youtube channel that is trying to go after jesse to 
get subscribers. Jesse knows that. His biggest punishment to you, brutally honest, if I'm being brutally honest, is that he's not going to mention you. So he, he didn't say your name, but he did respond. You should have more subs than me. But knock your mom out if I slapped her in the face with it. You fucking begging for my attention, <laughs> ugly ass little pussy. So there you go. I just responded, you guys. I just responded. Oh. Also, Jesse was probably definitely a bully in school. He called me ugly. Like, like I give a fuck if a dude thinks I'm ugly. I, <laughs> who gives a flying fuck if a dude thinks you're ugly? Dickhead. To uh, those guys talking shit. That was my, that's my response. Okay. Wait until you have over, you know, like if I can literally just drop a, I have 100 times your subs on you. Like, you know, I know you're hoping that I'm going to say your name. You're hoping that I'm going to. I, I don't get why he's flexing his subs. Like, like, like anyone cares. Like I've just started YouTube about a couple of months ago. So, you know. It is what it is. I, I'm and also, brutally honest, if this video catches you at any point, if you see this video, you've done a great job in a very short amount of time. I've had my channel for about a year. Like, I haven't even hit a thousand yet. So, you know, I got a baby channel, whatever. Fortunately, I haven't got the subs yet. Point people in the direction of your channel. Candidly, I don't even know what channel it is. Someone sent me like a screen. That's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Absolute fucking liar, Jesse on fire. Absolute fucking liar. And you know why? Because he fucking commented on the fucking video. Here, okay. If I'm being brutally honest, brutally honest, Jesse knows that he's not telling the truth. But the thing about it is you only have 2,000 subscribers. He has like 150 or something, 150,000. So he can tell his subscribers whatever he wants and they're not going to do the research and they've never heard of you. So they're just going to believe whatever he says about you. And Jesse knows that it's just part of the game. He but you're right. I saw the comment on there. Commented on the video. I don't know why it is. This, this live was a couple of days ago and it was after he commented on the video. So he's full of shit. I know he's seen the video. I know he Googles himself. I know he fucking YouTubes himself to see what's out there about him. A fucking liar. Absolute bullshit. Called fuck off, Jesse. Fuck off. That that's full on bullshit. Yeah, I've seen it. Grab recording of some ass clown. I was like, you think I'm gonna respond to this fucking idiot? Hey, does LeBron? You did. You did respond. You dropped a comment on the video responding. Tell me, get to 10k subscribers. So you did respond, and you're responding now. After you responded on the comment, you've decided to now go on a 20-minute rant. On two videos, uh, there's another live that you did where you, you spoke about me. Started calling me fat and everything. Um, try and fat shame me. Fucking hell. Like my, one of my favorite fighters is big country Roy Nelson. So, you know what? He fucking banged. Better than you fucking, Jesse. Dickhead. Fucking idiot. Hey, does LeBron. Are you sure he was talking about you, brutally honest? Because brutally honest... If I'm being brutally honest, you don't look fat. You just look like average shape. Does LeBron James respond to fucking, um, I don't know, pick a person who's like playing in D3 college basketball who says that he could beat LeBron James in one-on-one. -on -one. In, in MMA, YouTube, that is the equivalent of that fucking idiot talking shit to or about me. Anyway. Um, He's just compared himself to LeBron fucking James. The ego and arrogance on this guy. Who the fuck does that? He's, he, he's nowhere near LeBron James of YouTube. MMA YouTube. Fucking hell. And if anyone's got the, the crown to that title, it's going to be MMA fucking guru. Not All right. Not, no, neither of them, Jesse, nor MMA guru, is LeBron James of YouTube. Get a million subscribers, then you can be the LeBron James. Not fucking Jesse on fire. Jesse and M MMA guru are like the Larry Bird. They're Larry Bird of YouTube, which is still cool. Still legit. Dickhead. Anyway, continue. Oh, I shouldn't flex, flex subs on a dude who, who makes fucking content shit. So even his fans, people in his live start going at him a little bit, calling him out. So just for the record, from my experience of what I've seen people comment, half of his, he's about half and half. Half of his subscribers truly enjoy his content. The other half are like watching the circus. You know what I mean? Like they don't necessarily like Jesse, but they're watching the circus. They're watching the spectacle that, that Jesse is because Jesse gets in there. He rolls his sleeves up. He'll say some crazy stuff. 
And he tries to stay on the good side of people that he would like to do business with at some point. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's that's actually a very standard business practice. You let people that you want to do business know, know that you are a safe person to do business with. And what I mean by safe is you're not bashing them, you're not putting them down, and you're also willing to, you know, represent them in a, in a positive light, even if negative things are happening. So that it is what it is. All right. Come on, Jesse. Don't flex subs like that, man. I mean, it's not a good look, is it? It's like flexing subs. And anyone could do it. They, I, stuff like that. There's always someone better. There's always someone bigger. There's always someone who's been around longer putting in the craft. It's like Mr. Beast going, well, Jesse on fire. I've well, if I'm being brutally honest, brutally honest. By the way, I'm going to continue to mention brutally honest YouTube channel name throughout this video. So if this gets back to you, brutally honest, I'll be brutally honest. I'm okay with you giving me a shout out. I know you only have 2,000 subscribers. Jesse won't give me a shout out, but that's okay. It is what it is. He can do whatever he wants with his channel, and that's fine. To be brutally honest, brutally honest, like you went off on Jesse in your video. So anybody that watches a video of someone going off on them in the way that you did, calling calling them an effing idiot and stuff like that, yeah, he can flex on you any way he wants, and you're just going to have to take it. I've got more subs than you. It makes no sense. Like, it, fair play to Jesse. He's grinded. He's been on YouTube. He's consistent. He, he's reliable. And he's put in time and effort. And he's got he's got some subscribers. You well, just described every reason why he can flex. <laughs> just saying. Well done to Jesse. Mostly middle middle aged women by the looks of the comments on my videos. Not Did quite. Did you say the... middle aged women comment on your videos? That's interesting. That's weird. That's almost not even a MMA fan base. So they probably like the drama that you're bringing. It's like a soap opera, a live soap opera. The, the MMA audience, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Thing on me trying to get me to respond. I would flex my dick on him. I would flex my money on him. I would flex my subs on him. I would flex literally anything because he's talking shit. My point is... I mean, Okay, Jesse just said it. He said because you're talking shit, he'll flex anything he wants on you. I mean, I get it. Why not? I don't know why he wants to compare dicks. Like, is this a John Jones thing? Because like, that's the he... most emasculating thing he can throw at you. Honestly, like Jesse on fire is a force to be reckoned with when it comes to debating and stuff like that. I'll be brutally honest, brutally honest. I think that you have uh, you have a challenge ahead of you if you want to take on Jesse. But I'm here for it. Let's go. I'll be the mediator like I've been. I'll make sure both of you know what's going on. <laughs> I'm not going to side with either of you. I mean, I've been following Jesse longer, but I like the energy you're bringing. And, you know, it's only going to be good for both of your channels. So if you guys want to use drama to pump up your channels, all power to you. You're just going to make more money off of monetizing your channel. And I respect that. But, you know, mention MMA flicks and chill every once in a while. Jeez. Is he in the same in the same club as John Jones? Because it's strange. Like, I, if, it's like a 10-year-old behavior, isn't it, when you're, like, in high school and you're like, I've got a bigger dick than you. Like, you know, like, who says that? Anyway, it's not the size of the fucking... It's the ocean of the motion, as they say. Well, they don't say it's the ocean of the motion. They say it's the motion of the ocean. But it's okay. We know what you meant. Not on the level where I'm going to respond to them directly because it would only help them. He can fuck himself. He can suck his own dick because that's the only person. That's Wait a minute, him. Jesse. If he can suck his own dick, then your dick may not be bigger than his because it takes a big dick to be able to suck your own dick. I'm just saying. And also, you. I'm married. I'm married. All right, yeah. If you want to think that, Jesse... That, Just because you're married doesn't mean your wife is going to have sex with you. But it's true. Fine, fair enough. Anyway, so... Uh, anyway, this is going in members only anyway, so who cares? Uh, See? Sit right there. He, he, he starts giving me loads of by shit. By the way, that pop-up was my channel. I did like his response because it was aggressive. 
to be brutally honest, brutally honest, you came at him really hard. So he came back at you really hard. So I like his response. And he's a coward, a little worm. And he says, it's going in a members only section behind a paywall. So who gives a fuck? Thinking that it'll never get back to you. I mean, boy, it's not, it, it, people, loads of people, in fact, came into my live telling me that he was talking shit about me. Okay. So he's not a coward. The thing about it is he hasn't mentioned your name. When he says he'll respond to you, Jesse has more than one person coming after him. What, more than one YouTuber coming after him. So as far as his audience is concerned, it's not you. You know, they don't know it's you. Now, I know he's talking about either you or this, this Crimson guy or whatever. Maybe both a little bit. But he's not thinking that you won't it won't get back to you what he says he's just not mentioning your name yet he says if you in in the comment he put on your channel under one of your videos he says get to 10,000 subs and then he'll respond to you which is cool because he's encouraging you to build your channel so that's cool and um it gives you motivation but then he'll mention your name is what he's saying. He's not saying he's not being a coward. He's just doing what he said. He's not saying your name. He's not addressing you. He's not responding to you. He's responding generally to anyone. Although he, he is saying specific things. Uh, so we, we do know that he's seen the video and we do know it got under his skin. And that shows you the loyalty that his fan base have because I think I, I don't want people to unsubscribe to Jesse on fire. Like that I said, is... people are not going to unsubscribe, unsubscribe to him. They're either going to watch him because it's a spectacle, his show's a spectacle, and they love to hate him, or the other half, they just genu genuinely do enjoy his content. I'm one of the ones that enjoys his content. I don't agree with everything he says, but he I, I don't think he expects everyone to agree with everything he says. But if you argue with him, he is going to debate you. It's just the way it is. It's not the... He's an entertaining guy. He's funny to... He's unintentionally funny. and No, he's intentionally funny. He makes... He, he makes good entertainment. He's funny to watch in the sense that, like, he's full of shit. I, the issues I have is that he fucking lies. He doesn't do his research on topics. Um, he misses, he misses the bag like a, a, a million times over with with not doing his research, and he, he's he's not. Factual. I mean, okay, I feel okay. To be brutally honest, brutally honest, I will defend you when the time comes as well. I feel like I'm defending Jesse a lot here, but uh, there's only a, a a limited amount of information we can make assumptions on as MMA commentators on YouTube, right? So the research could be wrong. You know what I mean? A lot of articles come out with wrong research and stuff like that. Like a lot of us are going to be wrong. So I think it's probably important to be careful about saying, hey, you're not doing your research. Your research is wrong. Because then you're just going to get a whole bunch of people that are paying extra close attention to your research, and they're going to call you out. And that that is a problem. That is a problem. But he is entertaining. He's funny to watch. He's uh, he comes out with some weird shit. Um. Oh, you know, it is what it is, dude. Listen, this is the way of the world. Okay. If a dude challenges a dude, like, okay, let's see the on that. So let's. This analogy is weird. I, I don't I don't know where he's co coming from with this. Say that you have a girlfriend, and your girlfriend is like, you know what, I've fallen for another guy. You're like, what? She's like, I'm leaving you for another guy. You're like, what, well, what does he have that I don't have? Let me tell you what you are not. <laughs> I mean, I th he's a married man with a family. I don't know why he's starting to try and compare himself like as if uh, <laughs> in this scenario. First of all, he says, I I'm, I'm lonely and I suck my own dick. But now, now he's saying like, any woman that I go with or my wife or whatever is going to just fall out of love with me and fucking jump on Jesse on fire because he's bigger, stronger, got the bigger dick and more money. I mean, th this guy is unbelievably shallow. And this is why his fan base is probably turning on, turning on him a little bit and isn't happy with some of the things that he says. Because 
he doesn't give back to his community. He doesn't give back to his community. He's just me, 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 me. I go to UFC. I know all the, the stars. It's just all about the Jesse show. And yeah, that, that's kind of why I think there's this um, there's this narrative around Jesse on fire at the moment and why people feel so strongly towards the guy. And I've jumped on that narrative because I, I, I've i come in to disrupt. And th there's these people who have been established for so long, and it doesn't necessarily mean that they're good at what they do. They've just been established for a long time. So I'm coming in to disrupt. And part of that, I'm calling out the guys that I think need calling out. And then the second... See, I don't know. You're saying you're coming in to disrupt, but what are you disrupting against? Are you disrupting against some like trolls, like people that are troll or that have egos or like, what are you coming to disrupt? That's what, but what I do like is the energy that you're bringing in this. And it's like, you rolled up your sleeve and you're taking no prisoners. I do respect that. That's pretty badass. but uh, you, you definitely have your hands full because uh, everybody in the MMA space, pretty much everybody trains. I don't know about MMA Joey. Uh, I don't, he doesn't look like he trains, but I could be wrong. Everybody trains. So if you call people out, they're going to call it there. They may accept it and you may get embarrassed. Second thing is I want to give back to a community. I want to build a community. There is a natural community. I want to do community events. Like why are these fuckers not putting on events for the community? Like they're making that much money. I, every year they could do a fucking a, a community event, get the community together, throw a big massive fucking party. Okay, Jesse on Fire does do that though. He does get the community to come to UFC events with him and stuff like that. He's done it like two or three times. So he definitely does that. So, I mean, he kind of came after him saying he doesn't do his research, but you didn't do your research. If I'm being brutally honest, brutally honest. He didn't give a fuck about the community members, that's for sure. He does. I'm going to fucking change this shit. It needs to happen. We're building a community. If you want to join a real MMA community, have some fun, entertainment, talk about MMA. And wouldn't you just described, if I'm being brutally honest, brutally honest, you just described Jesse on Fire's YouTube channel by saying what you're going to do. You're going to build a community. Uh, you're going to include them and it's going to be entertaining and informative, all this stuff. You just described Jesse on Fire's channel, but I get it. You're doing this to get subscribers. Let's continue. So twice a year, maybe we'll have a meetup. We'll I'll host a meetup. We'll uh, fly people out to the UK. Maybe even uh, have a meetup in Vegas. Did you say you'll fly people out to the UK? So, okay, it, if you're going to fly people out to the UK, now that is different than what Jesse's doing. He is not paying for anybody to do anything. They have to pay, you know, for themselves. And if you're paying, that means you must have a little bit of money. So maybe Jesse doesn't have more money than you. Maybe. Maybe he does. Maybe you're just more generous, if I'm being brutally honest, brutally honest. That's a UFC event. That is the shit we're going to do. Not this kind of shit that he's doing. <laughs> you just said not this kind of shit that he's doing, but you just described everything he is doing that you're going to do. I don't know. I'm just pointing out what I'm observing here between the two of you. Mention MMA flicks and chill. Mention it in your videos because I've been here supporting both of you from the beginning. So, uh, you know, throw your boy a bone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, I, I'm going to take my wife and I'm going to have a good time. Fuck you guys. By the way, since we're talking about MMA YouTubers, you know who my favorite is? I like mixed martial arts, grandmaster of mixed martial arts. I think his name is Jesse too. But I think his channel is called Below the Beanie or something like that. Or mixed martial arts, I can't remember, but he's my favorite. He doesn't even do uh, watch alongs with his fans. He's never done one, as far as I know. He's never done one. Uh, but yeah, we, he has. We're going to change this game. We're going to change it. it needs You're not changing it. You're keeping it the same of what is what Jesse's doing. But 
continue. It needs to change. It needs to be more about community. We need to put the community first. I do like that. That's not the same as Jesse. Jesse is not putting the community first. He he definitely does all that you said. He puts himself first. It's his show. It's the Jesse on Fire show. That's his personality. I'm not bagging it. But yeah, it would be cool to see a YouTube, uh, a successful YouTuber in the MMA space do more for the com for the community. You know what I mean? I, I've thought of different ways of doing this. I just need to build my channel up a little more. And Jesse on fire doesn't. He just ignores most of his fans. He does. I mean, he's responded to me before through email, but it's it's only usually if it's in his benefit. If I uh, like the one time I asked for something for me, he didn't do it. I, I asked him to give me some advice on growing my channel, and I didn't even ask him for a shout out. Um, or anything like that. I just asked him, you know, to give me a little advice because he's got like, I, I've watched like 50 different videos of him saying, hey, you know, like subscribe to my channel. If you, if, uh, you asked me to subscribe to your channel, I would. And um, if, you know, like you have an MMA channel and you want some help, I, I help people. And I, I reached out to him one time um, after I supported him for, you know, the past couple of years or you know, since the beginning when he was doing just uh, Fabia videos. And uh, he he ghosted that email. So I don't know if he missed it or not. But um, yeah, he he didn't. Uh, he didn't um, respond when I needed something when I asked for something. So you could be right about that. And he just. Uh, yeah, he's, he's ignorant. Hoping that she says, OK, number one. Anyway, really analogy. Him Sorry, tangents, much, much, rants, much, much, much more money than you. But let's say hypothetically he does have a lot more money than you. You really don't want him to be stronger, bigger, and tougher than you. And let's say he has both those things. He's bigger, stronger, tougher, and also has lots of money. You want to be able to at least fall back on, well, I'm trained, you know? So, like... I mean, he's just making assumptions that he has more money than me. He's making assumptions... Well, he probably is bigger and stronger. He looks he's tough. not making assumptions. He's actually... Communi he's not even talking to his fan base right now. He's talking to you. He's being brutally honest. <laughs> Like he takes steroids and he takes a lot of kratom, guys. So he's definitely he's definitely juiced up on the kratom. Yeah, he probably he, he works out more than me. But is he trained? Is he is he more trained than me? Again, a, a fact that he doesn't know. He doesn't know that I have full time MMA. He doesn't know that I do train BJJ. He doesn't know that I do train MMA. Uh, brutally honest. If you see this video, I want to ask you a question. Like you you said you have fought before. It, is that like at an amateur level or a pro level? I'm just curious. So he can carry on being ignorant and it's going to land, land him in a, a lot of trouble because when I hit 10K, I'll call him out to a fight. I'll fight the guy. I do want fighting. If he won't fight me, I, w I want at least a, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu match. I don't think you guys are in the same weight class. I don't know how big you are. It's, it's hard to tell, you know, through a video. But Jesse is around 5'11", 5'10", 5'11", and probably around 185 to 205 pounds, if, if I were to guess. Match with him, a grappling match with him, and see see how we got on. I'm, I'm willing to do it. Is he just talking? You know, Jesse's actually closer to my weight class. I, you look like... I mean, just, just from, like I said, it's hard to tell. Like, we all thought MMA Guru was a short little chubby guy, and then we find out he's like a giant ogre. But um, you look like you're probably like 145 and like 5'8". That's how you look in your video. I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying that's that's what size you look. But you know what? Everybody gets that. Like, everybody thought Jesse was this, like, short, stocky guy but he's not he's he's like 510 511 in shit because he, he set the gauntlet there he, he's kind of thrown himself into the fire saying he's bigger stronger he's bigger stronger and he's trained so like let, let's put it to the test my man and just for the record i like to everybody watching this video and if jesse sees it and uh, to be brutally honest, if you see it too brutally honest, um, I would definitely 
take a match with either of you. Definitely. I could whip his fucking ass. So like worst case scenario essentially would be if the guy she leaves you for is a retired Navy SEAL who hit big and is worth like $70 million. That's like the trifecta of fuck my life. The trifecta of fuck my life. You're so old as fuck. So, you know. Yeah, he's probably around my age. I'm 45. I think Jesse's probably around 42. And assuming that I'm untrained. You know what I mean? So he's beating you in every single category. He's beating you with money. He's beating you with toughness. He's beating you with strength and size. And he took your bitch. Worst possible scenario ever. You. What? I mean, like so. Where, where's the I took your bitch from? He hasn't taken anything from me. But he, he thinks he can. But I can tell you right now, my wife would not touch this guy with a fucking barge pole. If someone comes to you and they're like, hey, fuck you, dude. And you're like, what? They're like, you heard me, dude. I said, fuck you. And you're like, I mean, listen, I was just over here buying my own business. And they're like, I know, but fuck you. And you're like, what are you trying to do with your life? I'm trying to be an MMA YouTuber. I'm like, oh, are you? Oh, you're trying to be an MMA YouTuber? You know, keep the dream alive. I mean, I wouldn't have talked about you or brought you up at all. You brought this on yourself. But since you, you know, already told me your life's aspirations is to be me, then. I, mean, I haven't said that. At no point have I said that my life aspiration is to be Jesse on fire. My life aspiration is, is to be an MMA YouTuber. I've never, ever said that. This channel was born in COVID with me and my friend who were just chilling, wanting to talk about MMA. We did some interviews with fighters. Oh, so, okay. At the beginning of the video, you said you've only been doing your channel for two months. I started mine during COVID as well. So I guess we started around the same time. Um, you're doing much better as far as subscribers than I am. Uh, if I'm being brutally honest, brutally honest. But uh, yeah, we we started our YouTube channel around the same time and yeah just just start having fun with it and then i restarted the channel a couple of months ago started doing lives didn't do lives before started making content because it's just fun i, I did it on the side i do i did work and i just did it on the side for a bit of fun it is fun and then on, uh, people started coming in i started seeing the other mma youtubers and it kind of take took, took on its own fucking life from there so i didn't know where this guy <laughs> This guy thinks he's that arrogant that I think I want I want to be him. Yeah. And I guess my answer is cry me a river, you fat sloppy pussy. Anyway. <laughs> um, let's continue. So uh oh wait, I already did. <laughs> so I mean, again, I'm the one that got Jesse to go on this tangent. And uh again, you're welcome, brutally honest. I, I did that for you. I knew Jesse had probably seen it. I honestly wanted to see his response because like I hadn't seen him respond to it. I hadn't seen him say anything. And I was curious like how, what, like what his thoughts would be on that. So I didn't really just do it to help you. I was genuinely curious of like, if he saw it and then what he thought about it. Did that, did that one, um, good response. Like, Thank you, sir. Uh, ever seen the black. So he tries to leave it there, but he can't, he can't, he still continues the rant. He still, I noticed that too. <laughs> pretty funny news <laughs> i have not okay so but listen the other side of the coin is like your girl left you and you're like well what does he have that i don't have she's like he's more sensitive than you okay i try to talk to you about how you feel and you never open up i talk to him about how he feels and he has spent an entire night crying he doesn't he's not all in the rat race after money okay <laughs> I, I don't know where he's going with this i don't know where he's going with this you know what he does he's a painter he's a painter he paints his feelings and it touches me in a way that i really don't know how to describe it. it's like he's so in touch with his feminine side you're all oh good. good 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 this is great this is excellent oh i forgot about the other one uh i forgot about the other category which is uh you know so is he saying that he's so feminine and in touch with his feminine side that he's he's sensitive and he can relate to the female species is that <laughs> is that what he's saying that he's he's so articulate with his emotions and in touch with his feelings <laughs> okay yeah, fine. If he definitely has a much bigger dick than you and your wife is like, listen, he's much better at satisfying you sexually. That's a hard one. To That's Maybe he is talking about you again. I don't know. That's actually your, that's like kind of a trump card to all of the other ones. You know, like it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, this one is the trump card, being in touch with your feminine side, having sensitive feelings. <laughs> I don't really understand this conversation, this portion of the conversation, to be honest. Kind of lost me. More money, tougher. Uh, you know, you would definitely lose in a fight. But you know, you're you're on the other side of that, and you're like taking that guy's girl. And you're like, look, man, you just don't know. 
You didn't know what to do with her, and Daddy knew how to touch her. Oh, back. he's going back to when he's talking about if your woman came to you and said, I'm leaving you for another guy because of this. That's what he's talking about. It trumps every other thing, but anywho. Um, I love it. He, he can't, he can't, he's, just, he's so rattled. I'm living rent free in the fucker's head. He's so fucking rattled. And he just for the record, he may not be talking about you. He may be talking about the other guy, Crimson or whatever. He's probably talking about you because you put out more content trolling him than the other guy did. And I think I came into one of your videos, if I'm being brutally honest, brutally honest. I mentioned to you that I saw someone else and you said you came after him first. So I could be wrong. You know, he maybe he is talking about you. But there was like two or three YouTubers that came after him. So we know we don't know for sure if he's talking about you. He probably is. But we don't know for sure if I'm being brutally honest, brutally honest. Can't stop talking about me. He just can't stop talking about me. Allegedly talking about you. But probably. It's crazy. He, he was like, I'm not going to respond. And he's gone so far. He's, he's responded quite but a bit. But he didn't say your name. So it's not an official response yet. And don't forget this is fast forwarded. Yeah, I know. I, I did an entire live stream about OJ dying today. Speaking of, fuck that guy. You know what I mean? In all seriousness, though, if you talk to those dudes that are fucking shit, tell them. So, see, someone tries to change the subject. Every time that the subject has changed, they talk. someone brings up OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson gets like a second. <laughs> <laughs> And then he goes straight back to me. Well, me and Ronan. That if they do 20, 20 more videos each and make sure that they hashtag Jesse on fire. And all okay, so the that's something I was going to point out to you, brutally honest. If I'm being brutally honest, he didn't say you just had to have 10,000 subscribers. That's what he commented on your thing, on your channel. But when he was talking about it in his live here, what you're seeing, he's still addressing me asking him what he thought about uh the people talking crap about him online and uh he did say that if you do like 20 diss tracks 20 different videos of 20 different diss tracks he'll respond and i guess that's open to anybody i actually considered doing it but i'm not really a smut merchant like i'm not re really trying to put down people that i respect um, I do respect Jesse because of his hustle. I think his content is good and entertaining. And I do, if I'm being brutally honest, brutally honest, I respect your hustle too. And I, I respect your content and what you're doing. Uh, I am pointing out the fallacies in this back and forth. But I'm not putting either of you down. I respect both of you. And I would box either of you. Mention MMA flicks and chill in your videos. Help me grow my channel. Support me for supporting you. Let's go. Title, I'll respond. 20 distracts is the number of videos it requires before I might respond. Maybe. You, oh, he you said want, might. What's 20 videos? He's already responded. He's, <laughs> he's already. Yes, but he did not respond to you specifically. He could be talking about one of three different people. If I'm being brutally honest responded but i think he's talking about making a full video a full video on it no just a ditch track. i don't know how, how he'd make a full well he would make a full video it would just be him saying that he's better stronger more trained capable richer i mean yeah uh, the, the true the, he, he, he is richer he has got more subs <laughs> he is trained but don't mean now i'm not trained no promises but 20 is the minimum where i will consider for you know for these little guys you know Pretty real guys. They're trying so hard. Um, we definitely do not need a third, but I appreciate your. I appreciate the offer. You're not the first. I've had someone be at our house. <laughs> I've had someone actually know this is a fucking truth. Okay, so you'll be glad to know this is the fourth and final video of Jesse's rant. So, let's get into this one. Oh no, I want them to do it, dude. What do you think? Happened? Like, listen, there are a couple people that are smarter than me that figured out the. Uh, listen, I'll just tell you right now. No one in the MMA community knew the YouTube algorithm and executed on that better than Guru. Guru fucking deep dicked YouTube's algorithm mm -hmm. like a fucking boss. He figured it out early. He let these guys it's do because their YouTube rewards trolling. If you troll each other, YouTube's going to give you it's like live drama, like real live drama. And YouTube rewards that. So, 
I mean, maybe that's why my channel hasn't grown because I don't, I don't slam anybody. The only person I've ever slammed on my channel was Patty Pimblett because I think he's a human Muppet. That's the only person I've ever slammed. Maybe that's why my channel's not growing. Maybe I just need to roll up the sleeves, put on the gloves, and talk mad shit. Maybe. But that's not my style. It's not my style. I'd be good at it. I would slay. But that's not my style. It's just not. Clips channels, and that's why, I mean, along with being incredibly talented, he fucked the world. You know what I mean? People making videos about you or clipping. You can tell right there. He's, he, he's got some deep jealousy and envy for, like... Look no, at he doesn't have deep jealousy and envy. He's praising him. He's given he's giving him props. Um, That's a false read on that. Not every... Okay, so that's another thing. <clears throat> and both of you are going after each other like the other... Like, one another is, like, just pure bad. Pure bad. Um there it's not pure bad you know what i mean it's not like black and white that way look at the rage in his face look at the rage i don't know why it's so dark but look at that rage in his face the jealous and envy for mma guru because he was he's a, he's a funny guy that people clipped and they, they like clipping him out of context the you know well i mean how frustrating would that be i have seen jesse clipped out of context and it's pretty annoying I think even UFC did it. UFC even took a clip out of context. But, I mean, if that's going to help you grow your channel significantly, and it adds value to your channel as a YouTuber. UFC clipping you. And then, yeah, he also, Jesse has done videos with Guru. He is not envious of him at all. He, he respects him. He was doing lives, and he says interesting, provocative, controversial stuff. So people clip that and make their own content and yeah. make their own channels from it. That's true. I guess Jesse's just not that interesting for that to happen. Uh, no, he is. It's just it. there's nothing clippable really yet that any of us have really seen. Um, unless we're debating a take of his or something. I think I did a video maybe a year ago disagreeing with one of his takes and I happen to be right. But um, that's you know, if you can get someone else to clip your videos and talk about you that has a larger following than you, that's going to boost your following. It's like a YouTube blessing, even if they're roasting you. And again, maybe that's why my channel is still like less than a thousand, because um, I'm not saying controversial things like just to be controversial. Like I try to commentate on the truth, on my opinion and I try to point out the facts. I don't know. Th making this video has made me realize maybe I do need to troll. Maybe, maybe I need to join the game a little more aggressively. Hmm. Anyway, for anyone that's seen this video, if you like the content, subscribe, like it, share it. Leave me in the comments what you think. Uh, I know a lot of you are trolls, but a lot of you are cool too. I think it's like a a, a 95% to 5%. Like 95% of you are like really cool. 5% of you are just trolls and don't know what the hell you're talking about. But either way, subscribe. I have a feeling the YouTube MMA space is going to get greasy and I'm here for it. So subscribe and make sure you're there for it. See you in the next video. Chill. Thank you for kicking in with MMA Flex and Chill. Chill. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell, ring the bell.